Welcome back and don't go too far. It is still a doll's house, excerpt number one. Oh, a reminder, we are dealing with excerpt questions from the play. And uh, most, most likely, you're likely to, most likely, highly likely, you are likely to be uh, tested on an excerpt. So therefore, let's look forward unto this. Now, it is still KCSE English Literature Paper 101 Stock 03. For those who are new into this particular platform and you're coming across these, and uh, maybe a friend of you referred, uh, a friend of yours referred you to this, uh, why don't you do this? A subscribe, that's all that I need, and a thumbs up. So uh, these are projections, and of course, exam style questions and possible, and possible sample responses. Uh, let's sojourn this one together. Straight to the excerpt. Miss Linde, is Dr. Wrong a man of means? Yes, he is. And has no one to provide for? No, no one but, and comes here every day. Yes, I told you so. But how can these well-bred mans be so tactless? I don't understand you at all. Don't prevar prevar prevaricate, Nora. Do you suppose I don't guess who lent you the 250 pounds? Nora, are you out of your senses? How can you think of such a thing? A friend of ours who comes here every day, do you realize what a horribly painful position that would be? Then it really isn't he? No, certainly not. It will never have entered into my head for a moment. Besides, he had no money to lend then. He came into his money afterwards. Miss Linda, well, I think that was lucky for you, my dear Nora. No, it will never have come into my head to ask Dr. Rank, although I'm quite sure that if I had asked him... Miss Linda, but of course you won't, Nora, of course not. I have no reason to think it could possibly be necessary, but I'm quite sure that if I told Dr. Rank... Miss Linda, behind your husband's back? Nora, I must make an end of it with the other one. And that will be behind his back too. I must make an end of it with him. Miss Linda, yeah, that is what I told you yesterday, but... Nora, walking up and down. A man can put a thing like that straight much easier than a woman. Miss Linda, one's husband? Yeah. Nora, nonsense, standing still. When you pay over debt, you get your bond back, don't you? Miss Linda, yes, as a matter of course, Nora, and can tear it into a hundred thousand pieces and burn it up, the nasty, dirty paper. Mrs. Linde looks hard at her, lays down her se uh, uh, sewing and gets up slowly. Nora, you are concealing something from me, Nora. Do I look as if I were? Miss Linde, something has happened to you since yesterday morning. Nora, what is it? End of that particular excerpt, good students. Now, uh, quickly without wasting time, let's just go straight to the exam side questions and possible sample responses. Now, question one is usually placing the extract in its immediate con um, con uh, context, rather. But in this case, is what happens immediately after this excerpt? Sometimes they'll tell you what happens before and what happens after. And in this context, or in this part here, we have what happens immediately after this excerpt. Now, this is when Torvald comes home, and Nora tells Christian to go to the children, for Torvald cannot bear dressmaking. Nora manipulatively tells Elma that she has been missing him. Torvald thinks that the dressmaker has been around. Now, question two. Discuss any two issues brought out in this excerpt. Now, there is materiali mati materialism. Nora thinks of a rich and buyer who leaves money to her. Mrs. Linde believes the story, yet such a man does not exist. Mrs. Linde inquires whether Rank is a rich man. Now, uh, question uh, two, another idea or another aspect that comes out that is question from question one. I mean, uh, yeah. The second aspect or another issue that you should that comes out of this particular excerpt is that is that of um, friendship. Nora and Mrs. Linde share intimate feelings. They discuss the riches of Crookstead and other petty things. Question three. 
How is Mrs. Linde depicted in this extract? She is depicted as materialistic. She is concerned with Nora's imaginations about a rich man. The imaginations are mere imaginations, yet they rise a fuzz. She wishes to benefit financially from rank, if he has no one to provide for. Another uh, uh, way in which Linda is depicted here is that she is inquisitive. She inquires so much from Nora, the riches of rank, the false admirer, where rank takes his money, thinks Nora was lent money by rank. Now, um, question number four. In which ways does the playwright use dramatic irony in this excerpt? Remember in the previous video, good series we've talked about different types of um, irony. We talked about um, situational irony, verbal irony, and dramatic irony. So if in case you missed this part, why, wouldn't it, why don't you just go back and go through that particular work and um, better yourself before you sit for the exams. So dramatic irony in this excerpt, Readers ask now, we know that there is nothing like a rich admirer but only mere imaginations, yet Mrs. Linde does not. Mrs. Linde thinks Rank gave a loan to Nora, yet the reader as that is, knows, it is Krogstad who lent money. Mrs. Linde does not know about the bond Nora talks about, yet the reader knows that she talks of the loan she gets from Krogstad. Question 5. How effective is the use of humor in this extract? It is comical when Mrs. Linda believes that Nora has an old rich admirer who will leave money or who will lend money to Nora after his death or who will leave money rather to Nora after his death. Mrs. Linda misinterprets the imagination and it raises a fuss. This lightens the stage. Now, um, question six. From this excerpt, Helma is hardworking. How is this character trait brought out elsewhere in the play and how does it complicate the drama? Three marks. Uh, he overworked himself in the past. He fell ill. Doctor advised that he should be taken south. Nora borrows Crockstead some money to take him for a trip. Later, Crockstead raises issues with the loan. Uh, there are two questions the good students that I've taken out. Those questions have to do with the definition of terms. And that is usually question number four. You'll be asked to give the definition of or the first part they have been used, some words vocabulary for effect and uh, and also another one is uh, grammar uh, you can be asked maybe uh, rewrite the sentence beginning with this or add a question tag to the question that part i've exceptionally removed it uh, for the reasons and the purpose of getting it straight those particular questions that you're likely especially this particular uh, uh, part right here now um in case you feel like you want to go through the video you might just maybe review it or revisit it again or rewind or pause in between the lines and jot down things that you think uh, they are important and they are very much effective as far as your studies is concerned and for now i just want to say adios and then let's meet very soon very soon good day